Next, let's grab a decal six meter plane. We'll snap it. And we know the walkway here is six meters, so we'll just bring it up. Make sure it's sitting right. There we go. Drag it into position. Okay. And we see that the decals hay material is assigned here. Um, this material uses the wetness decal shader. And when you're going to use decals, always use a decal shader so that they sort properly against other geometry. Now the distribution of hay on this decal is kind of boring. It's just flat and then it falls off to the edges. And let's fix that, make it more interesting. Load up your favorite Vertex Painter editor script. And if you don't have one, there's several in the asset store, but I recommend the Vertex Painter Pro editor script by Jason Booth, which is included in the Rome Fantasy Pack and is also available free from the link in the description. So if we go to Window, Vertex Painter Pro, we get our window. Each color channel within the wetness and puddle shaders gives you a different effect. For example, if we go to target channel value R, this will only paint red into our vertex colors. A value of 255 is fully red, a value of zero is black, no red. The red color channel controls the influence of stains on the surface on this shader. Green controls the decal visibility, and that's derived from the height map and the material texture. And if you're using a puddle shader, one of the puddle decals or just a standard puddle shader, the blue vertex color controls the puddle amount or the puddle visibility. And then finally, the alpha of the vertex color adds smoothness to the surface to make it a little shinier. When you combine the red and the alpha channel effects, you get a subtly wet surface. So for this surface, we have the wetness decal, Let's just go to the value G drop down or green and let's paint zero for the green channel. Let's set our size to 0.5, flow a little higher. Okay. And we can just start painting. You can see that if you paint softly, the hay starts to thin out. You can just keep on painting. Let's paint a nice kind of distribution. Make sure it's kind of, you know, non-linear. You don't want any lines showing up. It's looking pretty cool. Looks nice and random. Let's go to the value R. Make sure the brush value is zero. And this just paints some darkness. Now what's cool is you can turn off wireframe by hitting show wireframe. So you can just kind of vary up and take away some of that that we painted. Just get some variance. That's nice. Now let's turn the sun. We're going to be working in the shadowed areas. Let's wait until the reflection probes bake. And let's add another decal 6 meter. This time though, let's change the material to decals cobblestone. And drag that in. This material uses the puddle decal shader. And if we go to window vertex Painter pro and let's paint value B, turn that to zero, small brush size, and we'll just do a moderate brush flow. And let's just start painting. Might be tough to see from this video. Whoops. But it's painting a puddle based on the depth of the height map. Now remember, we have wetness shaders applied to quite a few things. So this walkway, we can do the same thing to that too. Let's do let's uh, let's go to the color channels and let's turn the red down, green up, blue up alpha down. So this is going to paint stains and wetness. Transparency and puddles aren't activated for this shader because it's just PBR wetness. It's not the wetness decal. Active. Crank up the flow.
So now we got some wetness on the walkway. And it stains a little bit to kind of create that saturated look. Now we can also tweak that from the material level. Definitely check out the shader parameters. We have stain smoothness limit, so we can adjust the amount of smoothness that's happening on the surface. Let me move this decal out of the way. And we can turn off the stain power. So here's what it looks like with no vertex color effect. And if we turn this up, now we're seeing the influence of the vertex colors. This is great for just creating a lot of variance, getting rid of all that you know, repetition and monotony that's in the space. It's a great uh, polish level kind of thing. One other thing about the decals is the wall. So earlier I just took this decal outer corner, duplicated it over here, but let's change this one because we don't want them to look exactly the same. So let's go and paint visibility on this decal. You can thin it out. And I'm just painting the green channel. There we go. That's cool. So it's a little different. Or I can make it as thin as I want to. I could do the same with this guy. You can thin him out. Put the wireframe back so we can see. It's cool. There's also a really nice window decal. Go back to the decals folder, decal window, snap him into position, and put him on there. Looks pretty cool. Get some damage on there. And again, you can tweak the visibility all you like.